In this video, we will discuss the mechanisms involved in opening and closing of stoma. During daytime or high light intensity or when there is low CO2 concentration inside the leaf, photosynthesis will occur inside the gut cell because the gut cell have chloroplasts. During photosynthesis, CO2 will be used which causes pH to increase in the gut cell. pH increase activates proton pumps that will hydrolyze ATP and pump proton out of the gut cell. Transport of proton out of the gut cell creates electrochemical gradient across the plasma membrane of the gut cell. This will lead to activation of potassium ion channel that will open and allow potassium ion to diffuse into the gut cell from the surrounding cell. At the same time, chloride ion will also diffuse into the gut cell to maintain electrochemical balance. The accumulation of potassium ion and chloride ion in the gut cell will stimulate conversion of starch into sugar which is malate. The accumulation of malate, chloride ion, and potassium ion increases the concentration of solute inside the cytoplasm of gut cell. High solute concentration reduces the water potential inside the gut cell in comparison to the surrounding cell. As a result, water will diffuse from the surrounding cell into the gut cell down water potential gradient by osmosis. Gut cell will become turgid and the stoma will open. Opening of stoma does allow gaseous exchange of CO2 and carbon dioxide into and out of the leaves. Next, during nighttime or when there is high temperature and high CO2 concentration inside the leaf, the pH in the gut cell decreases because less photosynthesis occurs and less CO2 is being used. Proton pump will become inactive and prevent pumping of proton out of the gut cell. This causes malate, potassium ion, and chloride ion to diffuse out of the gut cell. Reduction in the concentration of solute inside the gut cell also increases the water potential. Water will diffuse out of the gut cell down the water potential gradient. As a result, the gut cell will become flaccid and the stoma closes. 